Hello everyone. Before we get started, I want to let you know that if you encounter any challenges with the circuit, feel free to drop a comment below. I'm here to assist you in overcoming any obstacles you may face with these projects. So, let's get started. On your screen you can see a simple, high-efficiency flashlight circuit, which can be used to illuminate any white high-bright LED using just a single 1.5-volt cell. This highly efficient flashlight circuit offers two primary benefits. Firstly, it efficiently powers a 3.3 volts LED using just a single 1.5 volts AAA cell. Secondly, it maximizes the use of the 1.5 volt cell, utilizing it until it is nearly depleted. Thanks to these characteristics, the flashlight can operate for many months without requiring frequent battery replacements, saving both time and money for the user. So, how does this flashlight maintain LED illumination until the battery is fully discharged? The answer lies in its design. Incorporating the renowned Jewel Thief circuit, which significantly enhances its efficiency. Alright, let's break down how this Jewel Thief circuit works. It's actually a type of blocking oscillator, sometimes called a vampire torch. Here's the process. When I switch on the 1.5 volt supply, the voltage travels through 1K, ohm resistor R1 and the left side winding of transformer TR1 reaching the base of transistor T1BC547. This instantly turns on T1. With T1 conducting, its collector and emitter become essentially grounded, which also grounds the right side winding of TR1. As a result, the entire 1.5 volts gets momentarily diverted to ground through the right side winding of TR1 and the collector emitter path of T1. This instantaneously inhibits the voltage to the base of the BC547 transistor through the 1K resistor, turning off the transistor. As soon as T1 shuts down, the voltage to the right side winding gets cut off. This sudden change in the magnetic field within the transformer core induces a flyback voltage across the LED. This flyback voltage is actually boosted compared to the battery voltage. This boosted voltage brightly illuminates the LED. However, the cycle doesn't stop there. With T1 off, the biasing voltage can once again reach its base through resistor R1 and the left side winding. This turns T1 back on, and the entire on-off cycle simply repeats very quickly. This rapid switching is the heart of the circuit. The high-frequency switching of T1 and the transformer TR1 causes the LED to remain constantly illuminated, even though it's receiving these short bursts of boosted voltage from the right side winding. Due to the persistence of vision, the LED appears to be constantly lit with high brightness, even though it's actually rapidly flickering on and off. This efficient design squeezes the most out of the battery. The circuit continues to work and keep the LED illuminated until the battery voltage drops below 0.3 volts, essentially draining the 1.5 volt cell almost completely. Without this Jewel Thief circuit, a 3.3 volt LED would never even light up with a single 1.5 volt battery. The benefit compared to a standard setup. If we used a 3-volt source made from two series connected 1.5-volt cells, the LED would illuminate, but only until the battery voltage dropped to around 2 volts. That means each cell would still have about 1 volt left in them, which is wasted power trapped inside the battery. This circuit helps us avoid that wasted energy. This circuit avoids the issue of wasted power, allowing the LED flashlight to function with a single 1.5-volt AAA cell and remain lit until the cell is completely drained. These features make the proposed LED flashlight significantly more efficient, long-lasting, and economical. For even brighter illumination, the LED could be positioned inside a polished reflector base. This concludes my explanation on a simple high-efficiency flashlight circuit. If you have any related doubts regarding this circuit idea, Please do not hesitate to comment and get guaranteed replies from me. Thank you for watching.